Thanks, and Mommy. Hi. Mommy, why do we? Netflix and cheese. Mommy, why do we? I'm making a video. Mommy, why do we? I'm making a video. Hi. 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 You. Hi. What were you eating? See the potatoes. Potatoes. Uh -huh. Were they nice? Uh -huh. Yum. segment Netflix with Miss Rona so today I decided I was going to do this segment because like apart from everything else that's going on and having to self-quarantine I have resorted to Netflix for comfort some news just came in that I'm really really upset about that season 2 of Messiah has been postponed I don't know if it has been postponed I don't know if it has been cancelled I, I don't know I'm not sure let's just put up a post And I'm just like so upset because I love that show so, 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 so much. And I know even from people that I've spoken to about it, it's just like, it just goes deep, deep into the soul. You know, like that amazing moment when they were in the airplane and he was talking to that guy. Sorry, spoiler alert. God knows you see us and loves you anyway. Sin. Sin is just a failure to choose goodness, that's all. Goodness is a choice. Every moment is an opportunity to make a choice. A choice to think a good thought, to think a bad thought, to act on it. It's amazing. I was having a discussion with one of my friends. Some people are saying, no, it depicts the, the coming of the Messiah, of Jesus. And then some people are like, no, it's so controversial because it also depicts um, the coming of the Antichrist. So it's like um, parading to be like Jesus. But in my head, I'm just like, oh, guys, why do we have to complicate these things? Can't you just watch a good movie about faith and love and just like, yeah, I mean... It's crazy, especially watching that movie now. It's just like, now it's almost like we're going through the apocalypse. And that movie was just like, keep the faith, keep the faith. We're almost there. Even though we don't know where we're going, we're almost there. That's if we're ever going to get there. I'm not sure. Nobody knows. And I guess that's, that's the hard part, isn't it? No one knows. You know, no matter how many people can claim what, what, what it's just it's a mess it's a mess and that movie was just really encouraging me in this time and pandemics and oh that other movie contagion that apparently was just like depicting everything that we're going through and it's just mm -hmm. how month these things i don't know i don't know what's going to happen but anyway if you haven't watched messiah on netflix please just go find yourself go watch it it's amazing and I also like that in the film, when they were doing it, they don't tell you anything. Like, it's just, it just keeps you engaged and you just, it's up to you to see what you want to see and believe what you want to believe. And I guess that's why I'm also so upset because they left it as such a cliffhanger that we don't know. We don't know what's going to happen. We, all we know is that 
things happened and yeah you know so anyway um there were so many amazing moments in that film that it just a part of you just wants it to be real a part of you just wants god to manifest himself in human form once again and just you want to have that faith again i mean so many people right now are looking for something and they don't even know what it is so many people right now are parading to be in love with god to be a follower of his teachings and all that but at the end of the day honestly it's so easy to get lost in mob mentality where you don't even understand the creator on your own like have you ever just stopped to listen to your own true self to discover who or what the creator is or have you just been told all your life who or what to pray to what is your conviction who just follows messengers and never listens to the message or never thinks about where the message is coming from and why it is coming to you do you ever think why certain things happen to you or do you just think you're just i don't know this this body this this human being that's just here to like i don't know just exist i mean come on guys let's be serious this these are the questions movies like this these are the dialogues these are the discussions that movies like this bring up because we've become so used to lying to god and so so used to lying to ourselves so used to lying to each other people will do people say they will do anything for our creator but at the same time have the audacity to hate each other so much hate our neighbor so much it's like this thing that has been going on on like facebook and all social media is like some of the dialogue you see there and some of the comments you see the amount of hatred that is given out from people that is spoken out and people forget how powerful the tongue is and how every word we say is like it's magic it's a spell you're casting a spell your breath is magic and like we giving out so much negativity on a daily basis without even realizing it it's not a game guys it's not a game like you know you can't just do things for the heck of doing them you can't just say things for the heck of saying them you know and that's why like watching messiah is just one of those things where i was just like mind blown and just took a step back to just like reanalyze my faith and what i believe in and it's it's crazy guys you know like people are dying corona everything i just i don't even know anyway go watch messiah the first season is on netflix and if you don't have netflix get it you can download it on your phone the, the monthly um payment is cheaper than everything else we're paying for right now and it's just it's worth your while i'm like a netflix junkie i can't do that like it's doing the things so yeah catch you guys later bye <laughs>